So over the last few days, Aiden's dropped a set of patches that added a lot of quality of life changes, bug fixes, and new features to fighting. So let's start with what's been asked for years, the settings menu. Next to Ghost Theory in both lobbies, you can interact with Settowing to open up your settings. You can change the game's visual, sound, and gameplay settings to your liking, but I'm not explaining all that. More importantly, you can change your team colors to the RGB model. I recommend looking at these documents if you want some specific color palette ideas. There's still more to come, like low detail mode and fighter specific settings in the future, so keep an eye out. Now, onto the gameplay changes and bug fixes. Starting off, the following melee ability is no longer checked for line of sight. Swords primary, skates offboard primary, both secondaries, firegrass primary, manhammer secondary, Q, E, and alt, and Scythe's E in Scythe mode. So you can now hit players around corners, obstacles, or walls with these abilities. Next up, the fighter specific changes. Starting with sword. A second to fourth slashes of empowered Q now have damaging hitboxes. This was a bug, so now you won't miss out on damage if you don't land the first slash. Skateboards receive a few fixes to its animations and displays. Your skating speed no longer displays negative zero, getting deboarded places E animation without the swing, and his board no longer clips into him if he loses all speed. Biograph has received a small buff. The X projectile from his secondary now explodes if any part of it hits a fighter, instead of needing to hit the center of it. Infinite Biograph E bug was fixed, and for some reason his secondary's projectile speed was based on your FPS, so that's been fixed now. Katana has received a nice quality of life change. Before, using your Q or performing two 5 hit primary combos would disable your abilities until you touch the ground. Now Katana can use his abilities, though your primary will have no dash force. Also getting nice quality of life changes is Banhammer. His finisher's pool speed was greatly increased, and the width of his second hit was increased from 10 studs to 15 studs. So if you pull a fast fighter, it's now going to be very unlikely you'll miss. Now onto the range fighters. Rocket's secondary now has a charging sound. Blingshot has received some bug fixes. You no longer lose charge if you stop hovering while charging a shot, and hopefully that bug that randomly disables your double jump should be fixed now. For Shuriken, his E is now usable while having the ground status. And for Scythe, her passive no longer targets spectators. And she no longer permanently disables gun mode if you switch during the end of an intermission. And finally, we're onto the supports. Medkit's primary and secondary will go through allies that have full health. It now plays a sound when you headshot an ally. His ult now revives based on where the ally died instead of where the ragdoll is. Boombox had a bug where he loses the ability to jump if he dies during his Q. That's been fixed now. And last but not least, find staff. Detonating your plants with your E now properly calculates the correct damage amount. Now, onto the general changes. Finisher volumes have been adjusted. For allies, it is much quieter, while for enemies, you can pretty much hear it across the map. Let's take this comparison. The finisher dialogue for allies is slightly smaller, and anyone with a finisher ready will have a glowing effect behind them on the scoreboard. And a second big change, the ping system has received a complete overhaul. Let's go over the changes. Pings on the map will now overwrite the previous ping used. Looking at pings with your crosshair reduces their opacity. Off-screen pings are now placed closer to the center of the screen, and there are four new pings. Group up and fall back replace the yes and no options, while here and target is a new ping that can be used by pressing the middle mouse or left control button. Here we'll ping at your crosshair, but putting it over an enemy in line of sight will put a target above them for 10 seconds. This target goes away if they break line of sight or go invisible. Every ping has received a new icon. More especially, the finisher pings now display the finisher icons of your fighter when it's ready. And each ping also has their unique sound, so have a listen. There's also four settings to modify your pings. You can change the color, volume, display the pings in chat, or enable the pings to use your team color. So that wraps the video up. In summary, great patch. Thanks for watching.